Chuck Huber asks, I'm sure this is asking far too much, but I'd love to see a video where you begin with an input jack, an output jack, and a wire connecting them. Then add a small piece of the circuit and play through it. Another piece and then play through that. Maybe change the values of a resistor or a capacitor along the way to demonstrate the effect of the sound. It would help me associate the visual of the schematic with the effect on the sound. You mentioned doing something like this in your books. Well, I actually thought that was a really good idea. So let's build a very simple soft clipping overdrive circuit and uh, let's see what happens. First of all, let's start with just the jacks connected. It's basically just like having a true bypass pedal. Nothing super fancy about that. Now we're going to go through a 10K resistor and then we're going to go through a 0.47 capacitor. These are input um, input resistor and an input capacitor. And you'll, you'll notice a little bit of difference here, but not a huge dramatic thing. All right, now the thing to do now is let's put that resistor and that capacitor into an op amp. Let's make up an op amp a little by little, and then we're going to see what it does to the sound. Now, obviously, an op amp, when it's set up as a gain stage, is going to boost the volume, right? So we're not going to go full volume, but I'll give you an idea of what it sounds like. We'll, we'll not clip it just yet, just add some volume to it. Okay, so what I have now is I'm going from the guitar through a resistor, through a capacitor, and to the op amp. Now, to make this op amp work, we have to have some, uh, we have to have a resistor and a capacitor that's going to ground here, in addition to the actual potentiometer that's going to control, uh, for this cir circuit, how much gain or how much volume boost we're going to have. And you're going to notice that as I turn it up, it's going to change the sound of it. It's going to get clearer, um, but kind of drop a little bit of bass as well. It, when you have it turned all the way down, it acts pretty much as a buffer. Now, just so you know, I had to, I have to put a volume uh, knob on the end, not a knob, but a volume potentiometer at the end of this because it gets incredibly loud and it's going to clip my input or my amp or both if I don't do that. And if I adjust the amp, then it's going to change the sound of the circuit. So long story short, what we have is, uh, okay, after that gain potentiometer, we're just simply going through a capacitor and then that's going into uh, the volume potentiometer and then we're going to the out. So let's take a look at what that sounds like. And I'll start out with the gain all the way down. And I'm just going to kind of adjust the volume just by ear to about the same level. So, so, so you get kind of a, a good idea of what it's, what it's going to do. All right, now let's turn that gain up a little bit. As I said, as I turn this gain up, I'm gonna have to back that volume down just a little bit so it doesn't get too loud and, and start distorting the amp. So at this point, I have the gain wide open no clipping diodes in it, so this is just going to be op amp clipping here. Okay, so we have a 100 picofarad capacitor that's in between the input pins here, um, in between the input and output pins on this op amp. Basically what it's kind of doing is it's going to take off some high. So it's kind of creating a low pass filter combination with the gain. So here we go. This is the same gain level. Uh, I haven't changed anything. I've just put that capacitor in. Now if I pull that back out, just as an example, here we go. So it's not a big, huge tone control. It's just taking off some super high stuff towards the end, towards the very higher frequencies. And it really helps, this capacitor here really helps to kind of 
bring the noise level just a little bit down the the noise from adding gain basically so from here let's add some diodes some soft clipping diodes basically pointing in different directions because that's how you do it on this in between the input and output pins okay we have these diodes in now i haven't changed anything i did bring the level up a little bit because since we're clipping the circuit the volume's actually going to come down a little bit so i had to compensate and bring the volume back up but i haven't changed the gain setting at all Now if I bring that gain all the way up, and now let's do the opposite. Let's start all the way down. All right, now I've I've added a little bit of gain just with the potentiometer, just turn it up just a little bit, compensate it again with the volume, and here we go. This is just a little bit of soft clipping from those diodes. Now, of course, that does sound a little bit of raspy, right? It's a real fizzly on the high end because there's no tone control. There's really not much to take out that fizziness. So what we need here is a tone control. But before we go on, there's also something else we can do. Maybe we need a little bit more, little bit more bottom end because the way the gain structure is set up so far, we're really kind of uh, starting about 800 hertz, maybe a little bit around 750 or so. Uh, mid-range, we're kind of taking off some bottom end there. Uh, and it's not a dramatic cliff, but it's just a kind of a decline if you're looking at the frequencies. And um, maybe we want to add a little bit of bass. So we take the capacitor that's a, normally a 0.22 microfarad in this situation with this particular circuit, and we just make it bigger. That's one way, just one way that we can add a little bit of bass here. Now, when you do it this way, you're also going to, you're, since you're adding bass kind of before it clips the circuit, before it clips the signal, um, it can tend to get a little bit fuzzy. So if the capacitor is too big, then it does tend to get a little bit fuzzy. So let's try that. All right, the stock setting with just that 1K and the 0.22 microfarad. This is the stock, the stock way that I started out with. <laughs> Now let's add a one microfarad capacitor in place of the 0.22. It's going to give it more bottom end. So as you can tell, it's a little bit fuzzy because it's such a big capacitor and it's it's increasing the bottom end that's being basically multiplied at gain cr created from it and um, since it has all that bottom end in place it's kind of getting a little fuzzy so let's go back to the 0.22 that gives a nice meaty mid-range sound um, it's common in a lot of overdrive pedals because you do want to kind of limit that bottom end getting into the first gain stage generally unless you do want it to be a little fuzzy so we'll start there, we'll go back to the original capacitor, and then we're gonna add a tone control on it. We have the tone control in place now, and just using a 10K pot, a 0.022 microfarad capacitor, and this setup sets a really simple tone control, and uh, it's, it's very effective. It's, it's kind of similar to what I have on the Euphoria, a little bit. I mean, here we go, right now I have it turned all the way up, so this is all the treble. So let's turn that tone control down and get something that's a little more usable, a little more friendly. That's all the way down. Mm -hmm. 
So now that it's all the way down, I what I like to do whenever I'm adjusting a tone control is I'll bring it up until I get that, just that a bit of, of presence that I'm really looking for without it getting too bright, too, uh, too fizzly, I suppose. So what happens whenever you change that capacitor that's tied to that tone control? Let's double the sides. Let's go to 0.047 microfarad, see what happens. So right here, this is probably about the, set, the setting that I would use personally. Um, you'll notice it probably has a little bit less mids technically, but it's not like a big mid scoop. <laughs> Now, if we lower that all the way down, we'll notice it takes off a lot more highs. We turn it all the way up, should be not too much difference. Reason why is because there's not really any resistance there that's combining to make a, a filter of sorts to take off those highs. So it does take off a little bit just with impedance and everything else, but for us guitar players, not really that much. The biggest difference is that sweet spot in the middle. So when you really dial that down from the darkest setting up to where you wanna be, you'll notice a dramatic difference. And I'll swap the uh, capacitors back and forth here in just a second. First of all, we're still on the 0.047, so let's tweak that to where we want it to be. Let's go ahead and put the 0.022 back in it. And just for a fun comparison, what happens when we put a big capacitor, like a mic one, like a one microfarad in there? Let's try that. So the same setting, it really takes off so many highs and so much mids that it's pretty dark. So let's see if we can bring that back up with the tone control. So we still can get a pretty usable tone with that bigger capacitor. It takes off so much more uh, mids and so, so many more highs that it really changes the complete sound quite a bit of the actual circuit. So that capacitor is a big influence of how the how this simple little circuit is gonna sound. So anyways, I hope this helped you uh, kind of understand the, the, the basics of these, this type of circuitry a little more. Um, maybe it was entertaining to you and maybe you'd like to try your own hand at maybe modifying something or building your own effects, something like that. So I'll have some links below that you can check out. We do have some new Kindle books uh, regarding some boss pedals so far that we've done that really dive into the just the nitty gritty of how these circuits work, but explained in a very easy to understand way. So make sure you check those out. And thanks for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. And we'll see you uh, here really soon with a new one.